I saw this the other day. I actually saw this off stream. I was taking a couple days off and I said, you know what? I want to look into this on stream. Let me stealth over here for a second. Let me AFK. Let me pull this up. Production, pull it up. This is it. Let me show you guys this. Okay. This, I, it's, it's, an, it's an old article from a year ago, but someone linked this to me and said, Stacy, if you look at this, 25 MMOs that have lived and died since Warcraft launch. So this ties into the new League of Legends MMO. I am very, um, as far as new MMOs go, I'm very jaded, right? <laughs> because uh, like we've all seen a million MMOs come out and they pretty much all have died fucking immediately. So I'm sure we're gonna see MMOs on this list. I've played probably half of these. Happy birthday, you sexy bastard. Let me see, number one. Wait, who said that? Malik. We, thank you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Any, any, by chance, any other birthdays today? Whose birthday is it on this day, December 20th, the best day? I'm curious. Like, what um, famous events on December 20th? In 2007, Queen Elizabeth became the longest living British monarch. Wow, poggers. Okay, anyway, City of Heroes. I remember being a kid in like 2002 or 2003 okay 2004 it came out okay so i was good like 2004 2005 and i remember i saw this trailer i remember i actually would see this game box at the game store like like i'd see it at the at the in the game aisle right and even then when i was a kid i was like wow this game is fucking dog shit let me see here 70 years ago heroes first appeared in paragon city wow uh-huh I never played it. I always thought this game looked trash. These brave You're still playing it? What? You're playing in 2020 a City of Heroes private server? Really? Helped win a war. Captain America, Poggers. Take that, Nazis. After the war, villains and heroes clashed in the streets. Oh no. Okay, we're like, I want to go through this entire list, and if we watch all these dog shit trailers, I'm just gonna want to log into Minecraft. Like, that's that's all I'm gonna say. So, I'm I I'm ha I never played this. I'm happy I didn't play it. I have no regrets. This game seems like dog shit. And that's probably the reason why it died is because it's dog shit. Two years, Pog. Anyway, this game is a dead, dead, dead game. Uh, that was Club Penguin. Now, here's the thing. I've told this story before. I was in the fifth grade, which would have been 2005. The year this came out, I got permanently banned from Club Penguin when I was in the fifth grade. And the reason why was I made... <laughs> why did I, I was so young. I was like 11 or 12 years old, man. What the fuck was I doing? I made a penguin called Prostitute Penguin. And I went behind the lighthouse and I was offering blowjobs. And they banned my ass. So And then I never went back. I never played it again. Anyway, it was a good game. I It was a fine game. It was an okay game. That was me. If you saw me... That was me, Prostitute Penguin. Jerome, good evening, brother. Good evening, dude. Jerome, I need to DM you. Can you DM me? I'm going to DM you. The Matrix, I remember this game. The Matrix Online. I never played it. Let me see here. They're making The Matrix 4. Did you know that? They're currently working. The, what, what, what are they? What, 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 what? The Waz Wazowski? Wachowski, brother? Sisters. The Wazows Wazow Wachowski Sisters are making the matrix four yes <clears throat> yes hey everybody uh it's coming in now this is uh actually hour two of our our live stream of the matrix online this is the the last hour that the matrix online will be online wow right this now. looks badass the right now but I mean, you're also the first hour <laughs> first hour for those who are who resetting are after the fact welcome welcome welcome, welcome. everybody everyone so, to yeah. the live stream the, the, the <laughs> Just, final 
Here's the problem with games like The Matrix Online and The Lord of the Rings Online. Like, everyone wants to be the character they saw in the movie, and then everyone's fucking identical. Like, when you log into Lord of the Rings Online, everyone either wants to be, like, the dwarf with an axe, you want to be Gimli, or you want to be the elf with a bow and arrow, you want to be Legolas, or you want to be the human male Chad with a longsword. And you, like, and then there's, like, three or four, like, just, just identical character archetypes, and you log in the game, and everyone is exactly the fucking same. And The Matrix Online, you have even fewer character archetypes than Lord, than Lord of the Rings Online, Everyone wants to be Neo and they want to wear black sunglasses and a black fucking trench coat. They want to dress like a school shooter and just kick people in the face. 12 million and it's just fucking lame. Good. Feeling day. Hey, Jerome, listen. I'm I'm not kidding. We I need to DM you something very important, very very urgent and very important. Okay, it's good. It's good. It's 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 exciting. By the way, it's good news. By the way. Anyway, I never played it. What Jer Jer Jerome is gifted twenty five subs. It's gotta be it's gotta be birthday subs. Jerome, listen, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jerome, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Thank you, brother. Jerome is bis. He's feeling damn fine this morning, and so am I. Give me a one if you're feeling damn fine, boys. This game, The Matrix Online, is not feeling damn fine. It died. But it was probably a justified death. Everything has a time to die. Dynasty Warriors Online. I've never even heard of this. I've even heard of this. I played Dynasty Warriors 4, I think, on the PlayStation 2 when I was a kid, and it was badass. But I've, I never knew there was an MMO. <clears throat> Area. Never heard of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like the, people are saying this is weeb. This is not weeb. This is this is feudal China. Okay, this is this, this is like Dynasty Warriors is not weeb. You might think it is at first glance. It's not. That's actually it's actually culturally insensitive to say that. This is China. Okay. China. Let me ask you, would you say Miss Pandaria is weeb? I don't think weebs, dude, weebs are actually so, so picky. Like weebs, I'm telling you, weebs don't give one fuck about talking pandas. They don't give a fuck about them. They don't care. It is furry. It is a subcategory of being a furry. That's true. Very true. Oh shit. Wow. Holy fuck. Dude, this is fucking badass. Ooh. This was an MMO? Bonk. He's sending him to horny jail. Uh... I wish there was gameplay. Like, I, I never even fucking heard of that. I didn't even know this was a game. Uh, they removed the English version from area games mainly because there wasn't a lot of people active and there was outrageous amounts of drama. I want, I wonder where it is now. Wait, there was... Uh, what would if there have been drama about? Please bring this back. Yeah, I fucking doubt it, bro. I doubt it, bro. Okay. Fantasy Earth Zero. Never heard of it. Who's that? Who, who that? Hey, thank you, man. Uh, Mist Online. I remember the game Mist. It was like a mystery game. I, my, actually, my mom played that in like 1999 or something, right? I never, I was too young. I was too young and stupid, never played it. But I never knew that they uh, made made an MMO out of it. It seemed, I remember I used a video unavailable. Okay, cool. Pirates of the Caribbean Online. Hot take. This game was 10 out of 10. This was a 10 out of 10 game. You can be mad. You can be a mad little bitch. I don't care. This was a sick fucking game, dude. You would log in. Like, oh, dude. It was Like, you'd have a pirate boat. You'd sail around the sea shooting fucking cannonballs at people. Man, this game was fucking sick. 
the th the pro the problem with Pirates of the Caribbean Online, like the reason why uh, it was bad and why it died, was because the game, <laughs> what well, the game was fucking dog shit, right? That's why it was. That's but it, like it was dog shit. But man, it was so fucking badass. But like it was it was dog shit, right? Shin Megami Tensei. Never heard of it. Star Quest Online. I remember the name of this game, but never uh, played it. Tabula Rasa. I remember this name also. What was this? Product uh, not yet rated. Everyone, ask your parents if they give your permission. This is an unrated product. Everyone go to ask your mom. Actually, just have your moms add me on Snapchat. Stay safe TV on Snapchat. Have your mom add me on Snapchat. And she can uh, DM me on Snapchat and she can give me consent, okay? For you to watch the video, okay? Okay. What the fuck? Okay. <clears throat> Tabula Rasa. This looks kind of cool so far, right? Seems mysterious. Oh. You know this game was just clunky as fuck. You know what's a shame, is there has never been a well-done, like, FPS MMO. I actually think that there is so, so, so much fucking potential in a really well-done FPS MMO. But it ju- it ju Destiny? Come on, dude. I- uh, c come on, man. Like, I- I- I said well done. Planet Side was- Planet Side 2 on the PC was really, really fucking fun. It was pay to win, and it didn't have satisfying player progression. And I'd say that's the problem with Destiny also. Destiny does not have satisfying or rewarding player progression systems. Like, if it was an actual... Like, like you know what I'm saying, man. Like, just, just like, you're naming all these, like, dog shit ass fucking games. Just make them good, and then we're gonna be in business, man. Like, that's all it is. Uh... Yeah, well, this game died because it's dog shit, right? So that's kind of the... I just, uh, I solved the issue there. Cracked the code on that one. Uh, Vanguard, Saga of Heroes. No one has ever heard of that. Warhammer Online, Age of Reckoning. Yeah, I played that, actually. Um, this game had something really cool in it. It was like the... It was like... What was it called? They had the little world PvP zones. Like, like uh, spaced around the world. Yeah, the realm versus realm. Yeah, like, the PvP in that game was very... Like, okay. How can I put this? It was a really, really cool idea that was surrounded by a sea of dog shit. It was it was a drop, just a drop of beautiful innovation, beautiful gameplay surrounded in a sea of dog shit. And the problem if you take one drop and drop it into the ocean, it just it doesn't amount to anything. That was a problem there. Free realms, never heard of it. What's this? Uh what's this? <clears throat> MMO Life TV. Never heard of it. Rated E10. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yikes. Ha ha ha. Hey, I'm Chatty, and this is Free Realm. Free Realms is an online virtual world where anything can happen. Just sign up for an account and then you can jump right into the action. Meet up with your friends or make new ones. Be a brawler. Ninja. Wow, we found... Wait, Ninja Poggers? I was gonna say, we found the the inspiration for uh, Lady Moonberry here. Or make new ones. Be a brawler. Ninja, blacksmith, pet trainer, archer, miner, chef, wizard, postman. Pick your favorite or try them all. Race your friends to the finish line or destroy cars in Demolition Derby. Think you've got combat skills? Bring your friends and you can battle together. There are so many places to explore and secrets to discover. Like, here's the thing. And, like, this is fucked up. It's fucked up that it's true, but it is true. I would never let my kid 
play this game because this is like you know that this shit and it's also like dude tiktok also like this is straight up pedophile hunting ground it's fucked up like no dude no fuck no you you know that that shit's going on here nope nope and so much more in fun mini games collect trade and build decks both in the real world and in game then play against your friends you can pick a dog or a cat and whoa they have personality all their own wow poggers okay uh this game made it uh what what numbers five this game made it five years wow this was sony's kid-friendly attempt at an mmo universe sorry multiverse like wow sans the cartoon violence with way more mini games <sighs> citing lack of resources they shut down battlestar galactic online wow this game died last year i actually remember this uh here's the thing like i I remember it was like 2015 or something. Dude, Solinar and Depleto. Guys, thank you for the resubs. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you very much. I remember I watched Battlestar in like 2015 or something. Uh, like the new Battlestar series. And I fucking loved it, dude. By the way, if you guys have not seen Battlestar Galactica, good fucking TV show series. Anyway, uh, I was like, wow, that was a great series. And then I, I looked up if there were any games for BSG to like get more into it. And I found this game and I watched a couple trailers and I was like, oh man, like this is fucking dog shit. So, a game we forgot existed, only called it quits recently. Developed by Big Point Games, the MMO based on the beloved sci-fi series was permanently shut down in February. That's not even that long ago. Wow, feels fucking bad, man. There were probably like seven people that played that in the entire world. Hello Kitty Online. <laughs> That's exactly what the world needs. Mythos Gameplay Trailer. Haven't heard of this either. Sam Squatch, dude, thank you. I just, I just puked a little bit in my mouth. Not relating to your uh, sub, but just because I've been drinking so much tea. Thank you. Thank you. The puke was not related to your to your resub. Thank you, man. Thank you very much for the resub. Thank you. <clears throat> puke for me, daddy. Ah, <clears throat> uh, never heard of this. Wow, looks so good. How have I not heard of this? This looks so good. You know what this reminds me of, kind of? Wait. What the fuck? This looks just like a shitty fucking Diablo. Dude, you, you know a 10 out of 10 game? A, a literal fucking 10 out of 10 game? Gauntlet Legends. Holy fuck. What a game. Gauntlet. What a fucking game, dude. God damn, that game was good. Wait, wait, Gauntlet Legends, dude. Like, you, the, the Gauntlet from the early 2000s, you'd go to the fucking arcade, you'd put in two cores, and you'd sit there and you'd play Gauntlet with your friends. That Gauntlet. I don't, I don't know, I don't know which Gauntlet, I, I think it's called Gauntlet Legends. That one. That shit was fucking sick, dude. <clears throat> Badass. Okay, dog shit. Uh, that, that's Mytho. Yeah, Mythos. Dark Fall and Holy Wars, never heard of it. Marvel Heroes. Wait, isn't this the game that Lily Pichu is advertising on Twitch? On Twitch? Uh, wait. Yeah. Wait, is- well, I, I don't even know. Like, you know the ad with Lily Pichu and the Five Gum and the Marvel? I, I don't even fucking- never mind. Wait, Firefall, isn't the game- did this game ever come out? An ambitious MMO that introduced RPG systems into persistent shooters sounded like a sure thing from the get-go, but financial troubles led developer Red 5 Studios to lay off 40 employees and eventually cease development on Firefall. Servers were shut down. Wait. I didn't know this game ever came out. I thought... Yeah. I thought it just, like, died before... Yeah, Mark Kern was the lead developer on this. I didn't know it ever came out. That was completely DOA. Let me see. Yo! <clears throat> Welcome to the Ares Initiative, Violet. You okay. are an assault reconnaissance extraction specialist. You are humanity's greatest hope. The melding has transformed the Earth. The Chosen harass our strongholds while bandits take advantage of the chaos, oh, no. pushing us to the edge. The Accord is only just able to keep it together. But you can change that. 
dude, it's got to be so demoralizing, like, building this entire game from scratch. You build your own engine, you do make all these fucking assets, you do all the voice, like... It takes so much work to make this game, and then it just dies immediately. God, dude, that's 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 got to be so fucking sad and just demoralizing, man. Holy shit! Our foothold is in New Eden, uh, but it's not enough. We're giving you the top of the line battle frames to strike back. Why does every MMO have to be your hero? Yeah, I don't know. I think MMOs are way better if it's like you are some random fucking nobody. Go and explore this world and bring me ten wolf meat. That's the kind of MMO. I, I don't want to be the commander of the super elite task force. Fuck that shit. I just want to be a random fucking nobody adventurer. Just go see what's up in the world, Back man. And he all the help some people. Us. But these are just the beginning. Yep. Because our enemies are getting stronger. And so must we. So, help me understand. This game actually came out. Like, this game released and was a game you could play. Because I was under the impression that it just died before it even came out. No? you pl well, you pl It was early. Okay, so it never actually full released. It was like early access, alpha, beta, bullshit, whatever the fuck. And uh, what are you trying to trade me? Is this a light of a loon? It's a light of a loon. Dude, go use this on Kelda. What are you saving this for? Are you saving this for... for, for oh, who? Or are you saving this for Illidan now? The meme was you save it for your forever- Guys, this is the meme of classic. You save your Light of a Loon for your first Kel'Thuzad kill. You use it on your very first Kel'Thuzad kill. That's when you're supposed to use it, okay? I... Stay safe. What happened to your Light of a Loon? Good question. <clears throat> we were in our very first Molten Core run. It was day eight of classic. Well, we got world sixth Ragnaros kill. I don't want to flex on you guys, but we did get World 6, the Ragnaros kill. It was very impressive. It was on day 8 of Classic. And we were killing Lucifron for the first time. And I... Like, you gotta stand. You gotta get in my state of mind, okay? I was tired as fuck. We've been playing the game literally 20 hours a day. How how we would level... Because we were trying to, like, race for Silver First Ragnaros. We would play for 36 hours, sleep 4, play 18, sleep 4. Play 36, sleep 4. Play 18, sleep 4. It was... The schedule was fucking insane. So I was sleep deprived. We were fucked up. It was crazy. I was stimulated on fucking caffeine gum. It was crazy. Anyway, we're killing Lucifron. We one-shot him, by the way. This was day 7, actually. We go in there, we we're fighting Lucifron, and I accidentally... I was trying to click something on my bar, and I clicked my Light of a Loon. So, my very first, which is, I guess, a better story. The very first raid boss of Classic WoW, I used Light of Loon. For no reason. I didn't even need to use it, but I clicked it. I was just to totally fucking zonked out, dude. Anyway. Hone your skills. So, this game was pre-alpha, or whatever the fuck, pre-release. Never came out, really. Wildstar. There's no trailer here. I'm surprised. I feel like Wildstar was probably the most popular of all of these. I hear from a lot of people. I never played it, but I hear from a lot of people that Wildstar really had a really uh, good good combat system. Never played it. I was turned away from Wildstar by like the kind of silly, lighthearted cinematics that we released. And you had like the talking squirrel monster or whatever the fuck. I, I didn't like that whole like silly. It's like a silly MMO. I never turned turn me off, I guess. EverQuest Next. Never heard of this, actually. <clears throat> Never heard of it. Sci-fi thing. I, I mean, I'm, I'm down with sci-fi. I like sci-fi. But it just seems silly and kind of... Kind of lighthearted and stupid. Here's the thing. As far as game graphics go, doing this sort of intentionally cartoony game graphic... Uh, or like like art, art artistic design is way better. If you're gonna make an MMO or really like, I would say any any game in general, you're better off to have intentionally cartoony like Fortnite, TF2, World of Warcraft. These game my, Minecraft is a perfect example. These games age way more gracefully than games that attempt super hyper realism. Give them five years, you look back on them because graphics always keep advancing. You look back on a super hyper realistic game that came out five years ago, it just feels so like awkward it, it does not age well but cartoony games they're they they age really really gracefully
It's Keyshar, the warrior. Poggers. Okay, I'm cringing. I'm cringing. Okay. So this game never came out either. Cool. Cool, poggers. Never came out, wait. The follow-up of two of the most influential MMOs didn't even make it out of development, EverQuest. Oh, wait, didn't the guy... Didn't the guy that was like the lead designer, didn't he die, didn't he pass away? Like the, like the brains behind the project died mid-development, I think, or something like that. I think it was something really morbid like that that kind of like ruined things, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, it was... Yeah, it was Pantheon. So who who did the Pantheon guy that passed away, where did he come from? Which game Which game did he come from? Yeah, Brad McQuaid. Was, was he from EverQuest? What game was... He was from EverQuest. So, so yeah, Brad McQuaid was like the brains behind EverQuest. He was designing Pantheon and then he passed away mid Pantheon development. And then, yeah, it feels fucking bad. And the game is kind of fucked also. That's it. Uh, wow, and then Landmark, which no one has ever heard of. Once the ambitious first step towards EverQuest next, Landmark was a sandbox for players to build in. A bit like less blocky Minecraft. It was shut down in February 2017, just seven months after release, although a closed beta had been playable way back. All of these games. You know what they didn't mention? Rift. Wait, is Rift still... Wait, is Rift... Um, Is Rift still alive? Is that a game that people still play? I'm wondering if they didn't mention it because it's still alive. Rift. Uh, it's not even a fucking game category. Wait, Rift. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, no one... No one in the entire world of real life craft is streaming this game. I actually played Rift for like a solid two weeks, probably when it came out. What is this? Yeah, this is like early Wrathwish game, maybe 2009 or 2008 or something when it came out. So I, I played Rift when it first launched with some friends of mine, some high school friends. And after like, I don't know, 10 days, two weeks, we all had this realization where like, we're playing a worse version of World of Warcraft. And World of Warcraft is fucking awesome. So why are we playing this? Like, let's just log out of this game. Let's just uninstall this game. And let's just go back and keep playing World of Warcraft. Because this is like, you know, late TBC, early, early Wrath of Witch King. So this is back when the game was fucking good, man. So we just logged out, kept playing WoW. And man, that was, that was it, man. That's all there was.